Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Gemini. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you that saw my SOS, you guys know I'm running a special on personal readings to try to make up money to buy back my equipment. Your support is definitely wanted and appreciated. Alright, so let's jump into the reading and see what is happening here. Spirit messages for my Gemini's. Messages for my Gemini's. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck we have We have someone that you hold in high regards, someone that you appreciate, someone that you look up to. It could be a family member or a close friend. But I think you're deep in your thoughts about a message you received concerning some type of house or your home or some type of stability or you're going to receive a message very soon from a fa about a family member or it could be a friend but it is someone that you hold in high regards So you're feeling like you're being left out in the cold. You're feeling like you're in a space of wanting something. <clears throat> you're in the mindset of lack right now. And that is causing you some type of anxiety. Now, for some of you, you're not working at this point in time. Or finances is definitely in a bind for you. But I do see you being in your thoughts about a love offer that you want to give to someone. It could have to do with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing it involves children. Now, you're observing someone from a distance. You're paying particular attention to some type of communication you're receiving from this person. Concerning long-term commitment or stability, or it could be a Taurus you're dealing with. But I see you feeling very defensive and standing your ground when it comes to this person. Because for some reason you do not trust what is being offered to you by this individual. For some of you this could mean child support and someone probably not paying their child support at this point in time. So you could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this could be you and your emotions, feeling very, how to put it, it's a feeling of desperation, like things are not working out for you right now as regards to your home and your family life. 
you're not getting the communication that you want from someone you're not getting the clarity that you need to help propel yourself forward and the stability that you have is very very small it's like barely feeding your family at the end of the day and you are feeling hopeless in this situation you feel like there is never going to this is never going to end you're feeling like things will never really work out for you the way you want it to You could be connecting to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but you're trying to get yourself into this Queen of Pentacles energy where you can provide for yourself and your home. But it's proving to be very challenging at this point in time. Now, you have many options around you, but not options that you find you should take up because it's like, how are they going to improve my life? and you're not seeing the improvement but i do see a new beginning coming for you very soon something that is going to be profitable something that is going to be worthwhile there will be a lot of growth potential here but you're still in your emotions a lot and you're making decisions based on that i'm having a pain in my neck right now so for some of you you are definitely having body pains as regards to all the stress that you are under so you want to coming together with someone you want to celebrate you want to be happy you want to stop being so stressed but you don't want anyone that will come towards you with only half truth you want the whole truth or nothing at all. You want stability. That is what it is you want right now. You want um, to be in this place where you can provide for yourself and be financially free. And I do see you making the choice, even though you're really in your emotions about your situation. You're making the choice to not give up, which is good. So you're accepting the truth of someone that broke your heart or something that broke your heart. Now this left you shattered. You're still, you still haven't dealt with that emotional trauma yet. <coughs> Sorry. And it would seem that you're feeling like things will never change. You will never get the stability that you want. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But every time you feel like you have gotten over this person or you have moved on from them or you're in a better place now, they resurface. And you try to ignore them, but their presence is kind of hard to ignore. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, Aries, Leo, or Sag. <coughs> but you're tired of the games. You're tired of the back and forth. You're tired of the in and out. And every single time this person comes, they take a piece of you back with them. And they take a piece of your heart with them. Yeah. could be an area some of you are dealing with but I do see you wanting a new beginning very badly I do see you wanting to take a leap into the unknown and see what happens there and whatever happens you're ready to deal with it because you're looking for what you truly want you want your wishes fulfilled you want to have things the way that you think it should be but I do see in the near future that you will be receiving all these things could be an Aquarius also you're dealing with but your wishes will be fulfilled you will be healed and whole and you will be able to get to that place that you want to be okay so some of you could be dealing with a Pisces but there is some type of secret that was hidden from you that is about to be exposed 
about someone that pretended to be your wish fulfillment, but you found out that they were not. And you're going to step into the King of Swords energy, where you are going to cut out something or someone from your life that no longer serves you. You're going to be very straightforward and direct in your communication. Some might even think it to be harsh. But you're ready to start to follow your passion. You're ready to make decisions based on what you're passionate about and stick to it. You're ready to live life to the fullest. And you're going to step into that energy where nothing is going to hold you back in life anymore. Now, this will come as a surprise to most people. Because your change in attitude and behavior is going to be mind-boggling and mind-blowing. But you are, you are definitely fed up of the lies, of the deceptions, of the things that you cannot see about people's behavior. You're just at that point of being fed up. And you want justice. You want to see people pay for the things that they have done for you done to you that was unjustified and it is coming you will see you will have that as regards to a relationship for right now i don't see you wanting to invest in anyone you're waiting for your life to finally turn around and for things to fall into place and that cycle is coming where things will fall into place everything will go as you would like it to and things would definitely work in your favor all right, so let's see what is the best outcome for my Gemini in this situation. What is the best outcome for my Gemini in this specific connection or situation? Okay, wow, okay, so there will be a new beginning. Where you felt hopeless, there will be hope. You will have your wishes fulfilled. You will get what it is you want out of a situation. There will be healing. You will get the stability that you want. So whatever you're desiring at this point in time is definitely coming to you. You may have a few obstacles to overcome, but that is life. But you are definitely heading in the right direction, going towards your own stability and your own happiness. Yeah. Everything is going to come into place in divine timing. New beginnings, new starts. But you also have to prepare yourself for those that would like to take things from you. Alright, so you, I guess you would need to change your mindset when things start to go the way you want it to. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good weekend and don't forget to support me. Alright, love you guys.